Okay, I don't know why I start off every single video with clapping, but I have to. Um, so, I used to really be into Verlicify, because he would cover a lot of Pokemon leaks and stuff, and I really liked that. But, um, his more recent content is him saying how bad a lot of other Pokemon YouTubers are, and saying how they don't actually care about their viewers, and how they always cover fake leaks. Which, first of all, hypocrite, when he gets mad at A-Drive for covering a fake leak when he spent a month only doing that. So I thought, I, I actually put in the YouTube search bar, Verlicify being salty. And so we have Pimp Knight debunked. Let's watch this. Honestly, I was just going to let it go. When someone makes a video attacking... Excuse me? You have never let anything go in the past, and now you were just gonna let it go? Were you just gonna let it go because he has a couple hundred thousand more subscribers than you? And you felt intimidated? Because you didn't- you had no problem going against- what's his name? Was it- it wasn't HGV. But it was another small Poketuber. Um, and I think he had around 93k at the time. And when he said something bad about you, and how you actually did slander against him, then you made a response video the next day saying everything he said was slander when it wasn't at all, and you didn't know what slander meant. So... Hmm... Filled with lies and misinformation like Pim Knight did about me. There's not really anything that you can yeah, do about it, so I'm just going to leave it at that. However, Pim Knight refuses to let the drama die, which is very strange to me because in his video against me, he says that, oh, I'm always taking jabs at him, I'm always starting drama and being controversial and stuff, but here he is doing the exact same thing quite hypocritically by naming his Skarmory impossible and also having a trubbish with Verlis spelled backwards, and he calls me trash in his video. You know, I didn't really try to make any personal attacks against him, but it seems like in his video defending himself, you know, he tries to prove that he's a legitimate player, and he does a terrible job defending himself. Okay, but here's the thing, though. I get that sometimes competitive Pokemon can get, like, competitive, and I understand why, but it's Pokemon. You realize that, right? It's not you're gonna actually die in the real world, it's so bad, too sad, you lost a battle against another YouTuber in Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Ultra Moon. Like, that doesn't really matter, though. In the video, which I'll prove later on, and that's because his video is not a defense video. It's a straight-up hit piece against me, and that is- You've made a lot of those. It's clear, because he even admits that this is a premeditated attack. You can tell the man has a lot of resentment, borderline hatred against me, because all he does is call me trash. My content's trash, I'm just terrible. Because you, act you actually will cover one thing, and then you have to bring up every single- you know, sun and moon trailer from the past and every single tweet from the past just to make your videos 10 minutes long so YouTube will, you know, get that in their system or algorithm. That's all you do because your videos are pretty much trash. Like, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. A lot of my videos are trash. I honestly, w there's been more than one occasion where I have deleted every single video on my channel. But I'm not going around, you know, thinking, how do I just extend this video to 10 minutes without putting any actual content in it? Hmm. Well, person, all this nonstop hatred against me, and then he tries to deflect my honest comment that the Skarmory was impossible. Pim Knight claims to breed a lot of his Pokemon, he claims to be a legitimate player, he claims to do, be all this stuff, and then he's caught with hacked Pokemon on multiple occasions. It's encouraging. Pokemon! Whoa, he was caught with a game that's easily hacked and he had a hack on it? That's impossible! How? Why? It's not like it doesn't really actually matter because it's Pokemon. The usage of Act Pokemon, and that's all I called out. 
I just didn't want him to lie anymore. And I've even said in the past, like Pimp Knight also, so Pimp Knight digs through a lot of my tweets and a lot of my old videos and stuff, but I mean, if he did it- How? You upload every two days. <laughs> How? Why? Why would he put himself through that torture? This research, I've said multiple times that I don't care if Pimp Knight acts. I don't even care if he doesn't hack now. I just want him to acknowledge the mistakes of the past. He refuses to, I called him out, and instead of owning up to it, he turns it into an attack against me. He deflects all the blame, and even then, his his evidence isn't that strong. So let's go and take a look. Most of the time I do breed my Pokemon, like 95% of the time, but sometimes I do trade with po uh, people. I actually have a big team of people helping me. Um, I don't want to bring them into it because it's not their fight. It's mine, and I'm just providing some information there it is well i don't how is there it is he said that there's a group of people that help him out with his videos in pokemon and stuff like if he doesn't want to spend all the time breeding for this one specific pokemon because he has to actually work on his videos and not just fill them up with nine minutes of garbage when he actually has to edit them and make them look good and exciting, he might not just have all the time to constantly be breeding for a perfect Skarmory. So yeah, he has a team of people that help him with that stuff. So what, Verlucify? A conversation showing that the Skarmory was traded for. GG, this is the end of Verlucify. You do not come back from the dead after being buried by the proof. Except it honestly proves absolutely nothing. The Skarmory was still hacked. That the Skarmory was still impossible. So if anything, it just shows that... You know this how. You say he doesn't have enough evidence to put you down. But you don't have enough evidence. Or you do when you just haven't given it to us. But you don't have any evidence against him. There's a very high likelihood that there are multiple hacked Pokemon in Pim Knight's other videos because... It's Pokemon! So what? People hack games all the time to get better at it. I know for a fact that you've probably done it too. We have proof that the, the pool from which he is getting his Pokemon from has hackers inside of them. And that's also on top of lies. Like, if anything, that just proves that Pimp Knight lies a lot. He says he likes to breed... He's a YouTuber. Every single YouTuber lies a lot. I said that I've been working on an animated series. I promised myself I would get the script for the entire first season done by November. It's May. Seven months ago. No, we know it's June. So eight months ago, I said to myself, I need to get these scripts done now. And I didn't do it, and I still don't have any of them done. Because, to be honest, I've kind of lost interest in that series, even though it's a pretty great idea and has a lot of different themes to explore. But the point was that I have lied about things. I said that, I, that, that the series would probably be up by October this year. No. Because I would not upload a single episode until I was midway into season two of it. Like, come on. 95% of his Pokemon? But then, you know, that's that's just convenient. You know, it's not, it's not all of his Pokemon because he got caught. He got caught with a hatch Pokemon, so of course it's not oh my his. God, Same for when caught? he asks for Pokemon all the time. He later throughout the video just says, like, you know, I have a large team of people helping me. And he, it's not even in that one part. Like, throughout the video, it's just like, well, this is going to happen, or it may, may look like I'm making a lot of teams. That's because I have a lot of people helping me. So I feel like that 95% is a lie that he's even responding to fans on twitter saying i don't use that i like to breed mine this was days before that skarmory sweep and depending on how long it take to make it you know if that if that skarmory or the magikarp sweep was made days in advance then that means as he was accepting pokemon hacked pokemon from okay okay i understand why verlicify is making this video it's obviously a response video he is all, Pimp Knight obviously has done sewing to his channel, except the thing is, I think I, ha I actually remember seeing this video when it came out, and Verlissify had around 270k subs. 
he now has like 460k subs. So if anything, Pimp Knight gave him publicity. Like, I don't get why you're being so salty about this when it's literally just Pokemon. Like, I get it's your job, but it's a game. It's, it's like how I feel about people who love sports. Like, my brother, I will be in my room and my brother, I can hear him yelling at our TV from downstairs because another team has the ball. I understand that you got invested in it. I understand that you have a deep passion in regard and love for it. But at the end of the day, you do have to realize that it's not going to actually affect you. It's going to affect, if anything, the players. It's not going to affect you in your real life. It might make you mad, sad, or, you know, depressed. But <laughs> that's more of a obsession then. Other people, and then using them in battle, he was telling people that he breeds his Pokemon. So, I mean, there's, there's some kind of layers of lies here, and it just feels... Probably because he doesn't want to just outright say, yeah, I get all my Pokemon hacked. But I'm sure that he does get a lot of them from breeding. I don't think that his entire team of people is just working on taking this Pokemon, this exact moveset, nature, all this stuff, putting it in. Like, that's not what it would be. He, doesn't, he probably doesn't want to say it's hacked because then people will think that's negative. So that would be negative publicity. So weird. It feels so slimy because it's like Pimp Knight is slimy. That adjective have n had nothing to do with any of this video. So full of himself that his ego would be shattered if his audience was to think that he doesn't breed most of his Pokemon, even though he says he has a large team helping him, even though it seems impossible. I think that's it. It seems like what he does no, is impossible I don't think for his one audience person. Would be shattered because. I feel like a lot of them, if they're fans of Pokemon or just know the game itself, would know, hey, that can't happen. They're not going to be blowing up on him on Twitter and Instagram, on YouTube, and they're not going to be like, Pip Knight sucks, he better stop now. So he likes to have that, and he likes to lie to his audience to make them think that, and honestly, his audience doesn't care. Like, that's, a, that's one of the things that was surprising me. That Because it's a game. How do you not understand this? When I first did my Pimp Night Exposed video, before he made his misleading video full of lies that I'm currently debunking and sent a ton of hate my way, a majority of the early comments, like 70% of the comments was, really, if he uses hacks, I wouldn't care. Actually, let me get this on screen a little better. Really, if he uses hacks, I wouldn't care. 384 upvotes. We have this guy right here. Sure, he may hack, but that doesn't make me hate his videos as they're entertaining. They're entertaining, that's all I care about. It's not- You see that, Verlicify? A lot of people don't like your videos because they're not entertaining. Even if they're not necessarily wrong, in a sense. So, people don't care relatively with- quotation marks, if Pimp Knight is using hacked Pokemon because he makes the videos entertaining. There's a balance between getting something through Ill illegitimate ways and doing something wrongly, or just wrong, and just being entertaining. <laughs> like, people will probably say, oh, he's entertaining? I don't really care if he does that because they want more content of him being entertaining. But because they don't like you, they're not going to continue to want content like that. You see? Affecting me in any way, so what's the point of worrying about this? So, even this, like, I, uh, I assume most Poketubers use hack mons. At the end of the day, legit or not, Pimp provides entertainment. So that's kind of the thing. Like, his audience doesn't care that he hacks his Pokemon if he used to hack his Pokemon. Time. And I think that's another thing. Like, why does Pimp Knight care so much? You know, like, Pim Knight is putting all this behind him, like, oh man, I must be a legitimate player, I must breed all of my Pokemon, my audience will think less of me, but in reality, his audience is like, nah, he probably hacks his Pokemon, but because I don't care. Like, a majority of your audience, dude. Because he, obviously, a lot of big YouTubers have a big ego that goes to their head, but I think it's more of him that he worries, that he, that his worry of this is just continuing to go up and up and up, of, of even though he might know, that they won't hate him or dislike him, he might think 
a lot of them will. It's just anxiety. Attack your Pokemon, so why are you taking so much weight in this to even turn into a personal attack against someone else? Anxiety. He hadn't really any evidence on me at all. He'd be using something a lot better than that, not like scrounging at the bottom of the barrel for something that was six years ago or a year ago. No, Pimp Knight, that is a lie. This is all the proof that I need because you have commissioned hackers to give you Pokemon in the past. Having someone else hack for you makes you no different than a hacker, and that's where my claims for my okay, original video yeah, stand. So you're actually, not the one doing the hacking. Sure, you're paying someone to do it, but you're not the one doing it. Thank you for proving yourself wrong with all of this, and also I don't. Thank you for proving yourself wrong, Verlis. Oh god, I can't believe I actually used that. That's actually what he calls himself sometimes. See how you using a hacked Pokemon for a Halloween theme sweep to get more views is is not evident. He probably did that because he needed to get it, but he couldn't get it. And obviously he wanted that for the Halloween team. Like, from what I see, it's a chandelure right there. Or, that just says Epic Chandelure Sweep, but that doesn't matter. If he wanted, I don't know, Pumpkaboo, he wanted a shiny Pumpkaboo with certain IVs, and he couldn't get that, and he paid someone to just give it to him for that certain video, I don't see anything wrong with that. Because it's not like you want to make a Halloween video, and then you spend you know, the first three months searching for that right pumpkaboo. Like, you're not the one who would do that, Merlo's Vi, so don't try and act like that. Are you recently using an illegal Skarmory to get more views is not real evidence, so... How would he get a Skarmory to get more views? Like, right here, I don't know if it said Epic Skarmory Sweep or something, but if this says Epic Chandelier Sweep. This has what that has three hundred fifty thousand views. That's very good. How would that just changing the title to Skarmory just make it get more views? I feel like a lot more people would like Chandelure's design than Skarmory, even though they're both pretty good. This is just deflection. You're lying to your audience because you can't handle being caught. The reason why I say Pim Knight is not a legitimate player is because that Skarmory was clearly hacked. Anyone that has if. So what? Like, clearly, clearly, his fans don't care. My th my at least theory is that he just has some anxiety about, you know, all this towards his fans, and he doesn't want them to think bad of him, even though they don't. It's anxiety. You're the only one that's going on this saying, oh, um, well, he did this, so... He's obviously a horrible Pokemon YouTuber. You should all subscribe to me, because I'm just so much better in every way. Uh? Like, a lot of people don't care because he's entertaining. And... It's just... What is it? Some of my videos actually are entertaining, but I don't think of them that way. So, in my mind, I don't get why people would think that they are entertaining. He might think that some of his videos aren't entertaining, but a lot of people will do. It's anxiety. So, he, has, he just doesn't want to be the person that said, Oh, I've been lying to my fans about this, even though they don't care. It's like, you're the only one that actually does care for Lucify, if you haven't noticed. You and Pimp Knight are the only ones that actually care about this. And... Okay, wait a minute. Oh my god, hold on. He just went on a tangent about how he used a Skarmory to get more views. G that, that says 62,000 views. You're telling me that that is what he used to get more views? Honey, no. Honey, no. That's not... That's not what he used to get more views. If he wanted more views, then that number would be around 500,000 to 400,000. It would not be 62,000. Anyways, I don't think I can stomach any more of this. 
Um, obviously, Verlissify, I don't quite like him. Every now and then, he will make a kind of good video, but mostly, he's just not an entertaining YouTuber, in my opinion, and he really likes to hate on everyone else. So, uh, subscribe to my channel right there. Um, I'm gonna link for Lissify's channel because I'm not so salty that I wouldn't, that I just hate him so much to do that. Um, and why don't you watch this video? It's a, it's a pretty great video. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, subscribe, everyone.